You can talk to your lawyer when we get down to the state. Matt, you can't be serious. You want me to add resisting arrest to the charges? What charges? Patrick didn't do anything. I'll figure that out when I get to the station. I'm supposed to be avoiding stress, remember? Uh, arresting the father of my child for no apparent reason isn't helping me to achieve zen. Trust me, you and the baby will both be better off. Let's go. You have the right to remain silent. Okay. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you. I'm really busy. I have to call you back. You have to help me. Uncle Mac has gone completely off the rails. You can't arrest me, Mac. I haven't done anything. I can hold you for 48 hours on suspicion of stalking. I'm not stalking Robin. Oh, no? What do you call uh, lurking around a woman's apartment when you have no legal ties to her whatsoever? Uncle Mac, you have gone too far this time. This has got to stop. Patrick is the father of my baby and has every right to be in my apartment. If Patrick was any kind of father, he put the baby's needs above his own instead of hitting you up for sex every chance he gets. If Patrick and Robin want to have sex in every corner of her apartment, they're allowed. Because she's an adult, and so am I, and I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to go around arresting everyone that we sleep with. I'm not going to apologize for trying to protect you girls. Robin, I know how important this baby is to you. To all of us. I couldn't stand it if anything happened. Okay, then instead of dwelling on all the horrible things that could happen during my pregnancy, why don't we try to focus on the positive? The fact that I am carrying a life inside of me. A life that Patrick helped create. So instead of coming up with reasons to drive him away, why don't we just... Be grateful that he wants to be a part of this child's life. Nothing is more important to me than Robin and the baby, Mac. Would never do anything to hurt them. Listen, I know that you love me. But Patrick does too. That's what you say. Let him come home with me and the baby, please. Free to go. Thank you. I'm not doing it for you. Do you need anything else? I think uh, Patrick can take it from here. But thank you so much for dropping everything and dropping me off at the station. Please, when Max not butting into your sex life, he's usually policing mine. So I think it's about time we formed a unified front and set some boundaries. Well, let's just hope he respects them. Well, all you need to do is not hurt Robin, and you'll be fine. Oh, well, nice, he'll make him. He has every right to be worried. You're having a baby with a guy who's practically slept with the entire hospital. Operative word being slept, as in past tense, Maxie. I'm committed to Robin now. Oh, that's good. Because the worst thing you could do to Robin or this baby is make promises that you can't keep. Call me. Thank you. Why is there a bunch of swatches in the closet? It's not a closet. It's a dressing area that's about to become a nursery. You want to put the baby in there? Listen, I already had this argument with my mother and with Maxie, so I'm not about to have it with you. I'm not arguing. Good, because I'm supposed to be avoiding stress, remember? Okay, well, what's more stressful than trying to cram a crib into a closet? Dressing area. <laughs> Whatever, it's not going to fit. It is going to fit, because I just measured, and there's two inches to spare. Two inches, Robin? Yes, more than enough. Okay, you know what? That's crazy. Why don't you just move in with me? There's plenty of room for the three of us, and four if we want to get a nanny. We? Yeah, you, me. We're a family now, and I want us to live together when the baby's born. <laughs> okay, I, I know you like this place, but let's face it, mine has more room for us. For us? You, me, and the baby? Yeah, well, I can't imagine the kid's going to move out anytime soon, so yeah. Maybe these pills that Kelly gave me have hallucinogenics in or something, because I could have just sworn that you said you wanted me to move in Come with on, you. Come on, Robin, there's a whole second bedroom. That's a nursery just waiting to happen. You, me, and the baby makes three? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs>